Okay, in the prior lessons, we talked about expectancy, and now we're going to go a little bit more in detail explaining how expectancy works. As I explained earlier, the most important factor in determining if a system is a valid system is not the probability of winning, it is the expectancy per dollar risked. And of course, we covered this in detail, right, in the prior lesson. What is expectancy? Expectancy tells us how much you can expect to make on average over number of trades per dollar risks. So this is the most important factor, not only to find out if your system that you're trading is a valid system, but also to compare one system against the other. Most people look at the average trade versus probability of, of, of the trade being winner instead of looking at expectancy. So here, I'm gonna go and explain to you exactly how we generate the expectancy, basically how much are we expected to make for each $1 we are risking. Okay, I have my uh, strategy here, which is a scalping e-mini uh, price action strategy. I just picked one month so we can make it easy on the numbers, okay? I took a good month actually, so don't get mad at me. I just picked up a good month. Uh, that's December of 2014. And let's look at the performance of the strategy for, for that month. It's only one month, right? It shows us that the, we had a total of, of uh, 40 trades. You can see that, right? 40 trades, 27 winners, 13 losers. And he gave us a $4,200, $4,245 in profits. That's, that's nice and dandy, except I want to know, fine, how much are we risking to make this money? How much on average am I risking per trade to make $4,200? That's the key that I want to find out. I have a drawdown of $1,400. All of that is nice, but it still doesn't tell me what is my expectancy, total expectancy, per $1 I am risking to trade the strategy. So let's dive into this and show you exactly how we generate those numbers. To do that, I'm going to look at my trade list, okay? I'll look at my trade list, and here are all the trades. I have 40 of them, as you can see, right, including commission. So it shows me every single trade. This is based on three lots, as you can, as you can tell, including $4 commission per contract. So the trade number one, you can see, 225 minus $12 commission because $4 per, per contract gives me 213. So what I do is I go ahead and record this on an Excel sheet. Here's exactly what I did. Okay, here we go. 213. The second trade was 112.50 minus commission, which gives me 150. 150. Third, another trade of 150. Here it is. Another winner of 288, that's the net amount I'm, I'm recording, right? Instead of recording the gross amount, I'm putting the net amount, 288. Then we have a loss of 637.50 plus commission puts us at 649.50. Here are the losers. So I could see what I did is I recorded every single win and loss on an Excel sheet, okay? And that gave me, here's what, what we have with an Excel sheet. If I go down, you can see total. We have... Uh, Total of trades are 40, 27 wins, 17 losses, and the total, of course, is 42, 45. Okay? Now, let's go group these into uh, $100 uh, increments and see if we can generate the expectancy. Okay. What I did here, I took the same numbers, I copied them, and now I started color coding them just so you can see them. You don't have to color code them when you do the math. I color coded them just so you could see them, okay? Here are all the wins and the losses, as you can see, okay? The wins and losses. What we did is I said, okay, let me group them in and, and, and $100 uh, groups. How many trades do we have that gave me a profit of around $100? How many profits do I have gave me uh, profits of less than $100 or around $100, $200, $300, and what have you? Same with the losing side, right? How many trades do we have? Let's start on the winning side. How many trades do we have that they gave us less than $200 profit, which I don't I, I don't count because they're, I call those scratches. So less than $100, we had two of them. Here they are, and I color-coded them yellow. You can see we have $163, another $63, and you don't have any more on the gain column, right? So we have two uh, less than $100 uh, gain uh, positive trades, two of them, gave me total profits of 126, 63 times two. $100, I had four trades, let's go find them. 
They're the yellow ones, right? 150, 150, 150, and there should be another one. Here it is, 150. So we have four of them around $100. Each one gave me 150 and gave me 402 total. Around $200, we have seven of them. Let's go find them. They're the blue ones. 213 is around 200. 250, 50. 213, 250, 50. 250, 50. 213. And one more, 175, 50. Total, we have seven of them. And if we add all those numbers, and you come up with 1566. So we have seven trades, positive trades around $200. So I'm grouping them. So I've done the same thing all the way to $600, right? That gave me my, my positive results. I've done the same thing in the losing side. Less than 100. We have three of them. Here they are, right? Minus $12, minus $12, minus $12. I call that a scratch. That gives me $36 in losses. Three of them. $100 losses. We had three of them, right? And here they are, $87, $87, and $124.50. Those three are around $100, and it gives me three of them at $298.50. So you get the idea. So I group them. Now, once I finish grouping them, what I want to do is I want to group them as a percentage of the amount of being risk, which is $100 increments, right? So one to one payoff, two to one payoff, three to one payoff, four to one, to pay, four to one payoff, five to one payoff, and six to one payoffs. So one to one payoff is basically my $100, right? I'm assuming $100 profit. How many of them did we get? Four. How many trades were there total? 40, right? 40 trades. 27 winners and 13 win losers. 40 trades total. So we had four trades out of 40, which is, which is basically 0.1%. So actually 10%, which is 0.1, and, and the probability wise, right? 0.1, which is 10% of the 40 trades gave us one to one ratio. So for, for it gave us $100 profit. Then there was seven out of 40, which is 17.5% which gave us two to one, gave us $200. And there was 12.5%, which is five out of 40, right? Five out of 40 gave us three to one. And the results was 1440, 1440, right? So I did the same thing all the way to the six to one, which is, we have two of them. They gave us six to one, right? And there were two out of 40 that gives me 5% and total profits for that is 12, 13, 50. I've done the same thing on the sales, uh, on the losing side, right? I don't count the scratches. I'll start with the 100. For 100, I have three of them that gave me $100, three out of 40. That's 7.5%. Total of 298.50. Two to one, there were two of them. Gave me 399, two of them out of 40. That gives me 5%, 299. And you can see uh, $600 losses. We have two of them, right? That gives me 5%, two out of 40, 5%. 1261.50. Here we go, right? Now I'm going to measure, uh, calculate my expectancy. And as, as we explained earlier, you know what the formula for expectancy is. We're going to uh, figure out the, form the, the, the positive expectancy, then a the negative expectancy, and then subtract the negative from the positive. Okay? Here's the negative expectancy. I'm sorry, the positive expectancy. We take 0.1 times 1, which is the payoff was 1, plus 17.5% times 2 plus 12.5% times 3 plus 12.5% times 4. 12.5% times 4 plus 5% times 5. The pair is 5 plus 5% 5 times 6. You add them all together, our positive expectancy is $1.88. I do the same thing in a negative expectancy, right? We have 7.5%. Payoff is uh, losing is 1% plus 5% of losing of 2, plus 7.5%, losing 5, plus 5% 5 losing 6. Add them all together, you have 0.85. So my overall expectancy, my total expectancy, right, my total expectancy for this strategy at this month, again, the one month is not enough, of course, but I'm just not giving you a lot of numbers, is $1.88 minus 85 cents, that gives me $1.03. This tells me that this strategy for this month was incredible, right? So for every dollar I'm risking, I'm expecting to make $1.03 on 
on average. Now, this is very, very high. You're not going to get this kind of numbers very often. Usually, if you get anywhere from 15 to 20 cents per dollar being risked, you're doing really, really great. So this is over a long period of time. It tells me that if this strategy does this, this, these numbers every single time, you expect to make $1.03 for every dollar you are risking. So this is how we do the expectancy. Again, this is just part of it. Uh, if you came into this lesson uh, earlier, of course, we, we, we go through the whole the whole example, you know exactly how this thing works. And this is very important to evaluate a strategy. If you want to evaluate two different strategies, you want to compare one against the other, this is the way to do it. If one gave you 25 cents positive expectancy and the other one gave you 32 cents positive expectancy, the one you want to be trading is the one giving you 32 cents positive expectancy. Okay? So that's what you could tell that over a long period of time, the one that gives you the higher expectancy, the higher amount of money you're expected to make per dollar being risked, is the one you want to be trading. So this this uh, this particular uh, um, uh, formula is extremely useful to compare strategies with against against other strategies. If you have two different systems yourself and you compare them, this is the way you want to go about doing it. Okay, all right. Let's go and uh, finish uh, uh, with giving us different examples here. All right.